Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome. Uh, this is your reading Cancer and th this time we're going to do something different. This is going to be all about romance. What's going on, what you can expect, who's coming forward or who is being released, right? So let's take a look at Cancer. And now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Also, maybe take a look at your significant other's placements that may give you more messages. Okay? Um, it's okay to be a cross watcher, right? So, let's get some energy from Cancer. Let's get some energy for Cancer. What's going on in Cancer's love life? All about romance, spirit. All about romance. Okay, we have wedding. Wow. This situation involves what involves marriage, okay? And we also have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? So at the bottom, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your, your usual type and expectations, okay? So I feel like this person coming forward, this person who maybe you're in a relationship with now or maybe you are just meeting, but I feel like this is very long-lasting energy. This is something that you're going to work through. This is something that you're going to learn and grow with. And I feel like Spirit is letting you know to keep an open mind when it comes to this relationship because they may be a totally different type than what you're used to, a totally different sign, a totally different personality. And to really give this relationship a chance, give it a chance to flourish and grow because I feel like this relationship could be the one that lasts a lifetime, right? So, yeah, that is what Spirit is giving me. So let's go ahead and get some more energy for Cancer. <clears throat> okay, so we have Beloved One, Archangel Chamiel. Uh, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, right? So I feel like you have divine guidance who's helping you through. You have this divine guidance who is keeping you at peace about your situation. We have peace. This is also Archangel Chamuel. You know, peace comes from rem remembering that only love is real. So that is your Archangel right now. Archangel Chamuel is surrounding you. They're guiding you. They're holding you and protecting you. Okay? So it's very interesting that the same arch archangel is delivering two, mes two messages to you. I have never gotten that in a reading before to where the same, you know, the same archangel is delivering two different messages. So that's very significant for you, Cancer. Okay? And actually at the bottom, oh my gosh, Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So that may be also very significant. Oh my gosh, three times in one reading. This is so interesting. Okay, now you have me intrigued, Cancer. So now, now we really have to give this good reading, this good vibes here, okay? Because you're really making me smile. Okay, let's get some more energy for Cancer. Let's get some more energy for cancer. Okay, we have truth be told, the number 14. So the number 14 may, may be very significant for you, okay? It also reduces to the number five, which is change, sometimes struggle, okay? So there may be some kind of challenges that you're facing, some kind of situation that's unfolding. It may be hard to deal with someone new. You may be having a hard time navigating this relationship but i feel like it's worth the battle okay and we have yeah yeah definitely three three change uh, we have chaos and conflict so there's definitely some kind of struggle that you're dealing with in this relationship but i feel like struggle is just a learning process it's something that you can battle and overcome okay so you know just be 
be wise to the situation that no relationship is perfect. There's no relationship on earth that hasn't had struggles and obstacles, right? So no matter what relationship that you're in, there's always going to be some kind of challenge that you'll be facing, some kind of hurdle you're going to have to jump over. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the love oracles. See what's going on for cancer. Messages for cancer, please. All about romance. There's one. No, actually, there's two. Okay. So we have not enough. Frustrating in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear and ego issues. Jealousy. So there may be a lot of problems in this relationship. That may be the reason for the chaos and conflict. It could be that your person is very jealous or you're very jealous, or you're just both very frustrated with trying to navigate this relationship. But I feel like that's just something that you're going through at the moment because, you know, you have this card of many options and decisions to make, but I feel like, you know, you may decide to be tempted by these offers that are being thrown at you or your person may be tempted to navigate some offers that are thrown at them but I feel like you are um, navigating you're working on them right you're you're just going through these relationship issues these conflicts you know, these decisions that need to be made in a relationship. It's like, it's like nobody really notices you until you're in a relationship with somebody and then all of a sudden everybody notices you. It's like that situation, you know, that's where all the temptation comes in. That's where, you know, all the um, feelings of, well, you know, this person has a crush on me or this person likes me. And, you know, they're a little bit better than my mate or they're a little bit better than the person that I'm with. Maybe I should go ahead and see if the grass is greener, right? But I, I, I feel like by, like, turning down that situation and just navigating your relationship, it's going to be a much better situation, okay? Not to tell you what to do, Cancer, but I feel like there's someone who's approaching you who's trying to tempt you to see if the grass is greener on the other side right okay because we have look at this we have the golden mirror so you may be dealing with the same thing as your person you know they may be dealing with the same issues with the same problems the same temptations okay but i do feel like in the forefront there is stability Okay, you do have the opportunity to be flexible and to grow in this situation. Okay, so that that's something to take a look at. There's something to really notice because I feel like that's what spirit is leading me to tell you. Okay, let's go ahead and get some romance tarot and see what other messages come out for cancer. Get some messages for cancer all about romance. All about romance for cancer. Manifest your dreams. Okay, we have the ace of thought. Well, okay, I didn't know that one was behind there. Okay, so we have the seven of emotion, the ace of thought, and a happy change. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> At the bottom, we have out with the old and in with the new. Okay, number 16. Heaven is showing you to... Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often, this is because you're not happy or you feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire and your spiritual truths. Okay, so this is the judgment card. So there may be a need for you to get out of your comfort zone and just try something new. Try something new in your relationship that you haven't tried before. Um, 
it could also mean that maybe this relationship has run its course and it's time to move on to something different okay but we also have the manifest your dreams okay so this is the number one this is the magician so something is being created there's something being manifested you're ready to go there's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. Okay, so I, I feel like changes are being made. And I feel like you're going to be able to see those changes. You're going to be able to feel those changes, right? Because we have the seven of emotion. That's the seven of cups. So there may be different opportunities that are coming your way. But I also feel like these are questions that you need answers to. Okay? There, there's many possibilities. Okay? Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Okay, So we also have the Ace of Thoughts. This is the Ace of Swords energy. So there, there's some kind of truth that you need to speak. There's something that you need to begin to release, right? And this has to do with your thoughts and your communication. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in your implementation of your idea uh, don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way these are merely a course correction to perfect your plan right so yeah don't be dissuaded by certain temptations because they're just going to you know sway you away from your true path okay we also have the number 10 a happy change your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive, right? So there's big happy changes coming forward for you. There's something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness, bring you a lot of joy, but these changes may come very quickly, right? So let's get some messages from your person. Let's see what your person would have to say. What messages do you have from your person? Messages, please. Whoa, okay. Finding out the truth crushed me. Wow. Finding out the truth crushed me. So it could be something that they heard something they found out about something you found out about you know I, I feel like something was apparent in the situation oh I love you beautiful okay I hid who I really am from you they hid they hid themselves they hid their true feelings they hid how much things or a certain situation hurt them because they love you right I wish I could take back my words so they may have said something that really hurt your feelings, really made you feel some sort of way. I lost myself for a little while. Okay. And they have, I know that I crossed the line with you. So I feel like this person feels like they really crossed the line, like they really hurt you. Like you may not be able to come back from this situation. Right. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of things that... They want to say, but they just 
can't find the words to say them. I feel like that's the reason why they hide themselves from you. Because they're hiding their true emotions, right? So we have, why can't I tell the truth? Wow. And we have drama. Hmm. This person is finding it very hard to tell you the truth. They're finding it very hard to explain, you know? They feel like there's a lot of drama going on. There's a lot of things happening. They could be the focus of this drama, actually. They could be right there in the middle of it. I cry at night. Wow. This person is really deep in their feelings. See, I'm blocked. The way I have treated you was wrong. Yeah, they know they know they were wrong. They know they did something to hurt you. And they have no one understands me but you. You know? They they feel like you're the only one that they can confide in, but they can't really even confide in you because they know that what they need to say is going to hurt. They know that what they need to say is going to you know, maybe ruin the relationship. Maybe you won't be able to come back from it, right? So let's take a look at some personal messages. See what else is going on. Maybe this can explain better. Wow, but I feel like they're very, you know, I feel like they're emotional. And they, they feel very regretful for something that happened, some kind of conversation that you had. They feel like you've kind of blocked them out, like you're ignoring them, like you just don't have anything to say, you know? And that could be the case, but... Hmm... Okay, hey, let's get some messages for cancer. Messages for cancer, please. Now, remember in the beginning, you have this protection. You have this peace, you know, but you're always going to be going through challenges and conflicts. That's just a part of life, right? It depends on how you navigate them, how you get through them, how you overcome the challenges, you know? That is the determination of, you know, the kind of person you are, who you are willing to become in the situation. <laughs> we have you are limitless. Okay. Sorry, but not sorry. So I feel like you're kind of standing your ground. You're like taking on this idea of, you know, you did this wrong. You hurt me. You, you said this or you did this. And, you know... Maybe I did this back, but I did it out of defense. And yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I did it because you hurt me, right? So I feel like there's some kind of back and forth going, okay? We have time to laugh more, get out and enjoy life. We also have soulmates, okay? So this could very well be your soulmate that you're dealing with or that you are going to meet, right? Time to start something new. Okay, and we have see the bigger picture before taking action. And we have your prayers are being answered, right? And we have good things are just around the corner. Okay, so I, I feel like this is definitely some kind of hurdle that you're going through. This is something that you're going to get past, um, whether it's with this person or with someone else. You're going to live and you're going to learn, right? Um, but I feel like good things are around the corner. Whatever that you're asking for in private, I feel like the angels are listening to you and hearing you. Um, so, give me more messages for cancer. Matter of fact, let's get a timeline. When will the situation become better with this person? Or when will... When will Cancer meet this person before the end of the year. I'm not sure if that one was meant for you, so we'll take another. Let's see. We have before the end of the year, things will be better. Things will be different. Yeah, sometime before February. Okay? So, um, let's get some more messages 
for Cancer. So it's going to be some progress. This is going to be slow moving, but I feel like along the way you're going to be learning a lot of lessons. You're going to be learning new ways of dealing with your situation, whether it's with this relationship or another relationship. Okay, Cancer? Um, let's get some more messages. Okay, we have a mirror. Look at this. And we have the golden mirror up here. So the truth is definitely being revealed. But I feel like you and this person are kind of doing the same things. I, I feel like if this person is talking to someone, you're talking to someone. If this person is dating someone else, you're dating someone else. It's kind of a tick for tack kind of thing, you know. I feel like you guys are kind of mirroring each other in the things that you're doing in this relationship. It's kind of like a... You know, you did this to me, I'm going to do this to you kind of situation. So, I mean, that's, uh, I don't know, Cancer. That usually doesn't work out. That usually ends in a lot of needless pain, right? So, we have the kitchen. So, it, it could be some kind of new creation, some kind of new, hmm. What I'm getting is. There could be children coming out of this situation with this creation card. I feel home, you know, something being created, something being manifested, you know, some kind of fertile situation here. So it could be that you have a child with this person or you will be having children with this person. Okay. Um, and we have the dandelion. Feeling empowered, persevering, okay? You know, showing that vitality, you know, that longevity in the situation. So I feel like, you know, you're hanging in there. If you decide that you've had enough, you're going to have enough. But I feel like you're, you're currently, you're hanging in there with the situation, okay? You're kind of seeing it through. You're sticking in there. You're you're not giving up. Okay. Let's go ahead and get three tarot cards to kind of further this reading. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. The five of swords, the nine of swords, and the hermit. Wow. At the bottom, we have the devil. So it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, Cancer. But I feel like at times, I feel like the situation can become a little toxic. This person may be addicted to certain things. They may have some kind of addiction to... Um, it could be drugs. It could be alcohol. Um, to tell the truth, it could be sex. You know, I feel like this person may be addicted to sexual situations, okay? So, and I, I feel like that's something that you need to be aware of. But I do feel like, you know, someone is very fertile in this situation. I feel like there's going to be a pregnancy somewhere in this situation, right? Um, but I do see that there is still conflict. There is still a lot of fear and doubts in this situation. And I feel like, you know, it's leaving you or both of you soul searching, wanting to be alone, wanting to look within to, you know, kind of keep things private, but also looking in for answers, looking in for the right way to go. Okay. And he's kind of facing these fears here, right? He's like looking towards his fears you know, developing a wisdom over the things that he's been through. So I feel like these conflicts, these fears, these doubts that you have, they're just giving you wisdom about the situation. It, it may be something that you may be able to overcome with, you know, you have the, uh, the four of wands. This is 1111. This is protection. This is a reason to celebrate finding your joy again after struggle, right? So I, I feel like, you know, you may be able to get past the situation and find your joy. But I feel like it's going to take some time. It's not going to come without 
leaving a part of yourself behind, right? Uh, this page of wands, they've learned some information. They've gone through these action and now they're kind of in doubt, right? They're, they, they're in doubt that they have to leave this situation behind. But normally on the page of wands, they're very enthusiastic. They're very happy. They're very outgoing and ready to pursue their dreams, their, you know, gifts. But this page of wands, he's like not quite sure of his journey. You know, he's not quite sure of where the road is going to lead. You know, he just knows he has something that he needs to leave behind because, you know, his journey calls for him to be someplace else. Okay, so I hope you understand that. But yeah, that's the message that I'm getting for you. Okay, let's go ahead and hmm, let's get your angel number. Give me an angel number for Cancer. This reading has already gone way over the time. Okay, we have 12-12 duality. Okay, within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and ready to illuminate the path ahead, right? So your affirmation, I fully embrace who I am and allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me, okay? So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that, you know, through the dark times and through the light, you are still you, right? You're still the same person. You're still the same being. But there are always going to be shadows of dark and beams of light. There's always going to be that, that two spectrums of personality, of emotion, Okay, and I feel like Spirit is letting you know that you have the power to navigate through either one. Okay, so I hope this message finds you well, Cancer, and I hope you, you can resonate with this message. If you do resonate, please like and subscribe. If it's not resonating with you, please take a look at your other placements and also um, maybe take a look at your person's placements that may give you more messages. And until your next reading, Cancer, many blessings to you. Love and light.